Hi guys, it's Yashi. Finally, I can do this video. It's something that I've been working on for a little bit in terms of research and everything. Let's talk about this. In the past year, Giorgia Meloni, the new prime minister of Italy, has been portrayed by the American mainstream media and social media and influencers as the most extreme regime that Italy has been ever seen since World War II, how everything is bad, how people are losing their rights and privileges. And what I hate about all this rhetoric is that every single person that is talking about this is failing to give context about this regime and actually showing the full picture in today's video we're gonna address this and actually prove how the conservative extreme conservative regime of Giorgia Meloni is actually far more liberal and democratic and pursuing and actually doing what the democratic agenda in America is saying compared to the democratic regime that we're seeing right now showing the hypocrisy of people the governments and the politics that are happening every single day in America because one thing that American politics and media is failing to do is portraying a good picture of what is happening in other regimes in Europe and just being extremely angry about what is stuffing without giving any kind of context and I hate it so let's get started here for the past few years even before Giorgia Meloni became the Prime Minister of Italy the media has been portraying her and other colleagues across Europe that are on her same side as extreme as too much as a recall of what happened 70 80 years ago in European politics. It's a rhetoric that permeated public perception of the reality and gave, I believe, a very wrong impression about what is happening in Europe by Americans. Headlines often scream uh, extremism, conservatism, extreme regimes, often missing the deep understanding of how Italy works and how the reality actually is. Each failed to explain that Italy operates as a socio-economic country, like most of Europe pretty much, something completely different than America, which is 100% capitalistic. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I just want to give you context. And in today's video, we are exploring specifically the democratic agenda in the United States and proving how Italy and the current regime is actually doing a far better job and meeting the democratic agenda of the United States compared to the current democratic regime that we're seeing in America. And even compared to the old democratic regime, we're talking about Obama. So we're gonna look at Biden's and Obama's agendas and what Italy is doing far better to meet those agendas even under a conservative regime. So let's get right into it. First segment, we gotta get started with the heavy stuff we're talking about healthcare. Before we start, thank you for joining me in this journey here. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other curiosities, leave a comment below. I might make a video about it as I need many ideas. One of the main pillars of the democratic agenda is universal healthcare. If you look on their site, you see how much importance they put in giving healthcare to everybody that needs it uh, for free, included in taxes, uh, in a system that actually wants to help the citizen. All while in 2019, and this was during the Trump regime, but even after the Obamacare and every other policy that was implemented in the past, uh, the healthcare spent per capita was still at one of the highest points in United States history. We're already above $10,000 per capita. While in Italy, the spend was only less than $4,000 in the same year. Which raises the question, is US healthcare the most efficient it could be? Of course not. We have an extreme spending for a population that has a lower life expectancy than Italy and is generally speaking much more unhealthy than what we see in Italy. Do we have some kind of public health care in America? Yes. Does it work as efficiently? No. We see a lot of denials for people with Medicare. We see a lot of situations where they cannot get the good treatments because Medicare is not approved by many clinics, etc., etc. So what is happening in Italy, on the other hand? What is happening in the most conservative regime that Italy has ever experienced since World War II? Well, happens to be that Italy has universal health care which of course it inherited from the old regime, but not only did they preserve it, so they kept universal healthcare, they kept the public healthcare and everything, but they also pumped up the budgets that go into public healthcare in Italy. One big problem of uh, universal healthcare in Italy has been that uh, we don't have enough money to sustain the entire system. So the Conservative Party of Italy, Conservative Party of Italy portrayed as uh, bad and bad for human rights, not only preserved uh, universal healthcare, something that the United States Democratic Party did not provide yet at the fullest extent, but they even pumped more money in it. So I'm saying that they preserve something that on paper is more democratic and they pump more money into it. What is conservative about this? Explain, explain to me. Just showing the first, let's say, layer of the hypocrisy 
of a lot of information that you see out there. According to data from the European Commission, on top of all this, the average wait for some non-emergency medical care in Italy is under six weeks, which is under the average of the European Union of nine weeks. This is some older data, but it's still pretty good. Not only we maintain this thing, we also put more money in it. And as per now, it's still one of the most efficient public systems in Europe, which is far more liberal and human rights focused than the American, let's say, liberal regime, even California. Number two, this is one, the one I love the most. We're going to talk about the environment. The US politicians have championed environmental rules and regulations and agenda and everything. And it's exactly also shown in the democratic agenda if you go online, as you can see here. When it comes to the actual facts, not much was done. The US tons per capita of CO2 emitted is still one of the highest of the top-notch countries in the world. Italy, on the other hand, depending on the data you look at, is two to three times lower per capita than the United States. And this is also happening while we have one of the most conservative regimes of Italy ever seen ever. If we look specifically, what has been done? The Green New Deal, electric cars and this and that. Did it do a lot? No, not really. Let's look at Italy on the other hand, the most conservative ruling that we ever seen. Italy has been leading the way into sustainability, not only against America, but against all of Europe. More than 70% of our trash is being recycled. 70%. You want to look at the rates in America? You have them right here. Italian cities like Rome and Milan, although they are more controlled by the local government, they still are being incentivized on a federal level, have implemented laws to ban emitting cars outside of the city center, something that in America doesn't really exist. In some cases, you might have to pay a lot to get into New York through the bridges and everything, but you can still drive any kind of car you want in there. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying that in terms of what is actually being done, a lot more is being done in Europe. So once again, between what is being said in American media and by American politicians, and what is being done by conservative Italy and the current regime, what we inherited and what we are doing now, is quite a big difference. Once again, showing how Italian conservatism is far more liberal than American liberalism. Number three, let's talk about another huge topic of the democratic agenda. We're talking about education, specifically higher education. In the past two years, we saw how the Biden administration tried to pay off the student loans of many Americans, which then was blocked because some people say it was deemed unconstitutional or wrong or there was no budget, etc., etc. Again, large headlines, nothing was done. What is the current situation of uh, Italian politics, the Italian regime, and what Italians get on average? Of course, we have free education all the way from uh, elementary to high schools, public education, probably one of the best public systems in the world, but not according to your test, but in general. I believe that uh, Italians have the most well-rounded knowledge than many other countries in the world. They literally have us cry on the books, but man, we come out wrong out of it. With that said, let's focus on universities. Italy unlike America, has public colleges. Yes, you have community college, but it's not a four-year degree, it's a two-year degree, and it's not a full degree. We have public full colleges. You can actually go to study medicine for 10 years and not need the student loan because it's affordable. And this is done and is happening while we have the most conservative party of Italy, according to media, in control in Italy. We have public education, it is available to everybody. There are some programs that even help the people to pay if they don't have the money to pay that $1,000 to $1,000 a year tuition, which is much more affordable. Considering that the average income in Italy is 24 grand, a family can sustain paying a tuition for an Italian kid. The average tuition in America, on the other hand, is very close to the average income of an American. So sustaining a tuition, in most cases, you will need a student loan. But once again, we're showing how the most conservative regime in Italy is still much more liberal and democratic and actually pursuing and following the agenda of the Democratic Party of America than the Democratic Party of America. I'm going to close it here because I don't want to annoy you too much of information. But this gives you a full and clue picture of the reality of Italy, how Italy 
Italy operates and how Italy is being portrayed by American media. Italy, although having a conservative regime, is far more liberal as a country in terms of the rights of the citizens, the free stuff they have. Let's not even get started with free transportation and public transportation. There's many things about it. But far more liberal and democratic and following the democratic agenda than the Democrats are doing in America. Again, the difference between what is actually happening and far more is actually happening on the democratic agenda, even in a conservative environment as the Italian one, than what is happening in America by the democratic and less conservative party of America. Simply to show that many European countries, even if they are right now under a more conservative regime, are far more liberal and democratic than the democratic party of America, showing you the hypocrisy between what is being said and what is actually happening. So this video is simply to open your eyes to always look for more information, to not blindly believe what the media is telling you, and to listen to other points of view, such as this one, for example. Guys, if you have other questions about this topic, please let me know in the comments below. If you would like me to talk about other things in Europe, please leave a comment below. I will use your comments as source of inspiration. I need to push out a lot of content. I just started this YouTube video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!